So we use digital technologies in a couple of ways. We use computational chemistry to predict the structure and function of materials to tell us um, where to look effectively. And we also use robotics to search experimental material space and we increasingly use those two methods together. The main benefit is we can look much broadly across the chemical space. The chemical space is enormous and by using computational methods we're able to look quite quickly over very large areas in chemistry space. But even with computational prediction methods that can still leave very sizable parts of the space to explore, so we use robots to look across those focused areas of space. The main benefit is it allows you to home in on materials quickly, but it also allows you to find materials in some cases that you wouldn't find otherwise, or at least you'd be very unlikely to find without these digital techniques to guide you. So we built a robot specifically to look for new solar fuels catalysts. This is a robot that searches for new catalysts for photochemical hydrogen production and possibly in the future CO2 reduction and also other photocatalytic processes. What we have it do is we have it load into each station, distribute solids, distribute liquids, cap the vial. Um, we bring it into the photolysis station which shines a great amount of light onto the vials and we measure how much hydrogen gas was produced in our, in our GC and the robot will move the vials between each station. This lab is a great prototype for future labs. We've shown that this is a viable option for getting robust, repeatable experiments completed. But I think really the big opportunity is to find new chemistries, new energy efficient processes, new energy efficient materials, materials for water capture, things that might address some of the big societal challenges that we face. Um, and materials that simply would not have been designed but were discovered using digital.